Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blog Daz. I'm Sophie. I'm Gaynor. Office Blog Aiden. Okay. Do you ever try and tell people about how bad English food is or how good English food is? Or I'll, British, or British I'll food? I'll definitely be more on the bad side than the good side. We don't, we're not very famous for our foods, are we? We're actually very famous for having bad food. Yeah. We're getting better. Yeah. We are. We are getting better. We've got a lot but of good chefs. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Stop trying to convince yourself, guys. <laughs> See, but you I'm don't with like the Americans. The, um, they, the, you like the American British food, food is dead. Yeah. Are you American today? Yeah, yeah. I'm American every day. Because <laughs> yeah. you don't like the pub food, do you? Like all the like no. pies and I'm, you know. There's only one pie I like, and that's at Man City, and that's the Kipax curry pie or Balti pie, chicken Balti pie. pie. Chicken chicken pie. pie. It's the only pie I really yeah. like. But that wouldn't really classify. Although it is British Balti, um, it wouldn't really classify as British comfort food. No, no. no. Yeah. more shepherd's pie. But this is a, this is going to be American high schoolers trying British comfort food for the first time, and imagine a lot of them won't like a lot of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, I they think they find it's a bit it, The Americans find it very strange that we have baked beans in our breakfast. Yeah, which I can't mm. have a I can't have a full English breakfast without, without baked, baked beans. beans. No. I can't. I think it's a bit weird if you don't serve baked yeah. beans. Yeah, and I can't have cheese and onion pie without baked beans. I can have cheese and onion pie with ketchup. Oh no, I haven't mm. got to have baked beans. Same. Mm. She's so English. <laughs> anyway, before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, if you're interested, we've got a Patreon channel, patreon.com, office blog, Daz, and fam, maybe as well. Yeah, uh, we're on there. We've got uh, loads of content on there already. It's as low as $3 per month, you which too. is great content, a great value for content you get. So there's loads of stuff on there already, from Key and Peel to uh, Dave Chappelle. There's stuff then that's exclusive to Patreon as well. So yeah. head over there if you're yep. interested. And uh, whenever you're ready, so let's get into it. American high schoolers try British comfort food for the first time. Mm. Well, let's go. Today we're going to be trying some British food. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we're not famous for our good food, but we have some staples that we're very fond of. What comes to mind if we say British food? Like tea. Okay. Fish and chips. Biscuits. If I'm being completely honest, like <laughs> beans and toast. Beans on toast. Have you tried beans on toast before? No. See like a lot of YouTubers that are uh -huh. British and then they eat beans on toast. Uh-huh. But it does not look good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, beans on toast is no. one of the most classic no. British dishes. It's like warm bread. Oh yeah, that's beans Say on that. bread. Hey, no. That toast that's is grim. No. That, that toast, toast was grim on it. That toast needs toasting. Yeah, it needs to be under toasted a little bit longer. <laughs> it looks like they've, they've warmed it up and then put a bit of butter on. Yeah. You've got to go toast. You've got to go that golden brown. brown yeah. Sort of like it's closer to, to almost almost if it's gonna just go a bit dark and yeah. then like dark brown. Yeah. Before it burns and that's how you have toast. Yeah. Delicious. Not like that. Bit of and it needs to be buttered all the way around that was yeah. just like in the middle yeah. <gasps> i must admit i'm not a massive fan of beans on toast i, I love can, beans I can on take toast. it or leave it oh it's not something to go out and think oh i'm gonna have beans on toast i'm just like mm. oh, i love beans on toast there's i never been a moment cheese on top there's but never we'll been a moment for breakfast. in my life when i'm like oh i'll have some beans on toast same <gasps> love same. it you like tomato soup though with grilled cheese Mm. Yeah, it's very different that. Very different to that. Oh my god. <laughs> hey no, Mexicans eat this yeah, too though. Exactly. You can't pass the fork. No, that's actually that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know like why just a thing. But it's definitely food. <laughs> you guys eat this like every day? Probably the most common sort of go-to quick and easy meal. It's like an English salad. An English salad. That is not true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give it a taste. And you're supposed to eat this with a fork and a knife? I, I yes, know. always with a knife and fork. No, I mean, what kind of psycho would pick that up with their hand? <laughs> <laughs> is it good? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, it's disgusting at first, but then when you start to like chew it more, uh -huh. it like slowly gets better, okay. but it's still disgusting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not my favorite dish. Okay. Not my favorite. It's not, oh, it's not horrible. I just like beans. <laughs> That's low key good actually. I I wasn't expecting it to like mix together, but that's actually good. But they're low key sweet. It's not bad. Oh, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Actually quite good. Uh, it's good it there. It tastes we'll way better than a look. Okay. <laughs> I think the other thing as well, you've got to also maybe with beans on toast to add a bit of flavour, you've got to, put a bit of brown, got to put a bit of brown sauce in there like as mixed well. Mixed together, but that's actually good. But they're low-key sweet. It's not bad. Oh. oh. First time I've seen it, I'm It's like, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Actually quite good. Okay. It tastes way better than it looks. Okay. <laughs> it's not like top tier, but... Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. it's like middle tier. Middle to bottom. Okay. Mid yeah, middle yeah, to yeah, bottom. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. When you first saw that, what was the first thing that went into your mind? Ew. 
Like, it doesn't look appetizing at all. Like, right. I thought it was going to be like mad soggy, but it's actually yeah. like crunchy. The kind of beans it is are Heinz baked beans. Oh, it sounds like dog food. Oh. It <laughs> sounds like dog wow. food. The average English palate is quite bland, but if you do want to add a little bit of flavor to it, spice it up a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Sauce. Sauce. <laughs> HP sauce. But we would never call that HP sauce. We call that brown sauce. Brown sauce. Brown sauce. Yeah. Why Why brown sauce? Like what? What? Because it's brown. brown. <laughs> well, yeah, I know that. I mean, like, that's, that's what it's called? Brown sauce? Oh, it's very creative. Why is it so thick? Is it actually? Yeah, this is chunky. I try at the same time again? Yeah. Ooh, oh, okay, that's, like, that's yeah. quite a lot. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Livingston. That was a healthy portion. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> it still has the horrible texture. Okay. But then now it's just like sour. Like this sauce doesn't belong on this. Is it better? No. <laughs> I mean, to me, it tastes the same. Okay. <laughs> Does it taste better than it looks? It looks so subjective, and so is taste. And I don't think this is something I'd want to be subjected to, so... Uh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that good. Wow, that that's good. pretty damning. So next up, we have cheese on toast. Oh. oh. Bruh, this is just grilled cheese. Grilled cheese, basically. All right. Oh, this actually looks good. Oh, no, it is grilled cheese. It's grilled cheese. I like this. This is normal. Please yeah. don't put it, nothing else on it. Okay, cheese. well, oh, in I England... Oh, we do put something. We call it Welsh rabbit over here with a bit, bit, bit of Worcester, Womanchester sauce on it. Wormchester. Watermelon sauce. Watermelon yeah. sauce, yeah. But um, yeah, you can put, I love Branston pickle on cheese, cheese on toast. Yeah. I love Branston pickle on anything. Yeah. I have on my sandwiches quite regular. Yeah, I sometimes see dad making the sandwiches and I'm like, what are you even making there? God, <laughs> like the other night it was like, what was it, like corned Corn beef, beef and cucumbers and oh, I was like, mate, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, you gotta put the combo on, you've got to have the full, full yeah, variety. Yeah, these like none of these I would eat either, so. You don't have Do just not, cheese on toast? Not with Branston pickle, you say. We would have it with Wormchester sauce. <laughs> yeah, I don't see why not, but I wouldn't I wouldn't ever just make cheese on toast and then put Worcester sauce on it. What's the show? It's Wormchester sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah especially becomes, Branston pickle, no. Becomes Welsh Matt. rabbit then. I like get the right ham cheese. cheese and Branston toasties. Put them in the panini press. Branston, man. Yeah, if you get Branston on that and a bit of like, get it, get, you got to get the right cheese on cheese on toast. You have Can't to make sure it's cheese. cooled down as well when it's been a panini because yeah. it's boiling hot Can't inside. Can't just be any cheese. England. Oh. We do put something else on it. It's Branston pickle. What's <laughs> this? <laughs> pickles? Pickles. Pickles. <laughs> I love pickles. I like pickles, but I try it pickles. <laughs> so, what you guys might call pickle, we'd call gherkins. Gherkins. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I want to eat something called okay. gherkin. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. No, for me. No. <laughs> They're delicious. <Yeah. laughs> it's quite strong, so you probably don't yeah, want much that, more than that. That's about right, I'd say. You want to spread it across the cheese. There's no spreading this, it's cubes. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I don't like that. Like, <laughs> mm -mm. hold up. Ooh. Oh, you want to get more? I'm gonna try to scrape. Oh no, he's getting. <laughs> I thought you had it. I thought well. you had it. He's what trying to get a blood twist. <laughs> this is why I don't like pickles. Okay. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. 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 It doesn't taste that bad. Yeah. It tastes good. I actually like this one. Yeah? Yeah. I would eat this. Okay. I actually like that. Do, do they sell this here? Like, do, where do you find it? I don't think so. I don't think so. You can probably have that jar when we're done with it. I can take it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Oh, do, you, do you really like that? I actually like that. You're a big fan. I like, really like it. Okay. This is classic. As it says on the, on the jar, since 1922. Yeah, I'm it's sure it's been fermented since 1922. <laughs> it's very dark. It's not my second choice, third choice, not even 10. <laughs> but like, it's a choice. We are trying. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> 
The last thing is something that does split oh, opinions my. in the UK. I love it. Ollie hates God, it. God, I'm going to put anything nice on it. A British essential is Marmite on toast. What? What's that? What is that? Marmite. Well, sounds like a bug. Yeah. Oh, where are you? <laughs> it's like a yeast extract, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, uh, I always thought it was Australian. No, that's oh, Veggie Mite. Right, so they Same do the vegetarian thing. style. They do the vegetarian version of it, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Right, but it's, it's grim. It's, it's something you either love or hate, isn't it? And but I always put you, you a make You make a great shepherd's pie, Yeah, right? I like a dollop of Marmite. But when you put the Marmite in, it can taste it. It doesn't taste, it's, it tastes a little bit too rich for me. Really? Yeah. But when you don't put it in, it's great. I put it in all the time. You don't. <laughs> I've you don't never made a shepherd's pie without putting Marmite in. Yeah. I might have put too much in. Right, that's probably what it is then. That's probably why I've yeah. never liked shepherd's pie. <laughs> Because every time I've had it, you've made it. <laughs> <laughs> you've never had it in the railway? No. <laughs> you don't want to, it's grim. Uh, what is that? Marmite. Sounds like a bug. Oh, it does to be. Wait, you think it's termite? <laughs> that does sound like a bug. Have you ever seen this before? Yeah. Oh, oh have you tried it? No. Oh, oh, I've seen this on YouTube before. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's yeast. Yeast, yeast extract. Yeast? Yeast? <laughs> That's the infection thing. <laughs> <laughs> it says yeast extract. Eli, why would you say that? You were mad. <laughs> <laughs> Eli! It's so <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. okay. Give it a smell first and let us know what's going through your head. Whoa. <laughs> I don't even know what, like, what to even say that smell was. It, was... it smells like poison. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeast. Oh. <laughs> it's very thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'd, I'd see people like eat it with um, spoons and they like vomit or something, so I'm guessing it's, it tastes really oh, strong. Right. Is that what you've seen on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, I would not recommend no. putting a spoon in there and eating it. As you can tell, we spread it quite thinly with butter on bread. So it is very strong, I'm guessing. It's a strong taste. Give it a go. Just <laughs> mm. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. That's strong. <laughs> You're... This is thinly? Yeah, that's very thinly. Yeah, thinly spread, yeah. <clears throat> mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's burning my tongue. <laughs> oh no. Y'all got water? I think she's about to cry. Oh no. Gosh. Delicious. <laughs> <coughs> so salty. Yeah, it's oh my salty. god, it's disgusting. <laughs> I've never had anything that extravagant. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. The thing they say in the UK is you either love it or you hate it. Oh yeah. my god. I'm a part of the second group. It's like I got it stuck in my tooth and I can't get it off. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't know why, it's just, it's actually pretty good. We found a Marmite lover. Yes. Good man. Okay. No. No? Oh, okay. No. There you go. I don't know why you're hating it. It's actually pretty good. You don't need this in your life. Okay. <laughs> but I want it in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's been a little introduction to some classic British foods. What's your verdict overall? Interesting. Very, very interesting. interesting. Yeah, it's not something I would typically think like, oh, let me put this on toast, but uh -huh. there's no food in bitches every day, so. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, in England, there really is a new food in bitches we, we every day. We've been eating this for hundreds of years. Yeah, we and... stopped inventing stuff about 300 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it's overhated. Overhated. Okay. Not overrated. It's Actually, overrated. no, that one is properly hated, the, the last one. Okay. That one's properly <laughs> hated. Like... Overall, I don't think it's too horrible. It's just not the greatest. Okay. okay. That was a very nice way of putting it. very encouraging. Yeah. Has your impression of British food changed at all? I didn't really know what to think, but after I saw the big beans and the toast, I thought you were crazy. Okay. And when I saw this, it looked crazy. I like this a lot better than the big beans and the toast. Okay. But... And we just straight out just did not like that yeah, one yeah, at yeah. all. That together. was not, bad. Not, not, not fixing that. There's not fixing that. But why do you guys eat this? Like, how do y'all eat that? Yeah. The amount of marmite they sell on um, 
in the country is ridiculous. Yeah. It's a massive sour. Yeah. Is it? Mm. I would have thought like at least half the country hate Marmite. Yeah. It's even, it's even become a term now. So if you meet somebody and he's, you know, they're kind of like likable to some people and some people are like too loud or another you know, person's too loud or got too much to say. When you describe them, you're like, he's a little bit Marmite. You know, some people like him, some people won't. They use it as a term. Yeah. I, I put that on one of the comments. Somebody said something about you and I went, he's like Marmite, you either love him or you hate yep. him. Correct. Correct. Aww. Yeah. Mm. But even okay, so, anyway. I've, I've met very few people that like Marmite. Like the proportion of people I know that dislike Marmite to yeah. like Marmite is yeah. a lot more dislike Marmite. Yeah. And I don't think I don't think anyone's household could ever probably eat more than one jar in a year. <laughs> no. We have more than one like, jar in a year. I know, but it's just like you using, using cooking though. Yeah. But it's just like a massive, it's like glue. I've when never you put, tried it, you when know. You stick your thing in it, like, you pull, if you stick a spoon in and pull it's it like out, it's like stretchy, it's like glue. It's like honey. Yeah, it is like honey, but real, <coughs> bless you, but Thank real, you. like, uh, real thick. I think it's thicker than honey. Yeah, it's a lot thicker. Mm. If you stick a spoon, nice. you can stand it up. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. But it is, it is grim. So if anyone's thinking of trying it, don't. <laughs> try it. No, don't fun. try it. Don't try it. And even better is Marmite. Toast it. Toast Marmite, then cheese, melt it, and then put beans on top. All three yeah. together. I can really see, good. I can yeah. see that, I can see that. I can't even think of a traditional English dish that I actually like. Um, like there's nothing I don't think. Do you like sausages? Bacon yep. butty, hard go. Yeah. <laughs> sausage and mash. You don't like. I don't mash, like though. mash. Sausage roll. Yeah, yeah I like bread. Yeah, I, see, I got a lot of favourite staples. Our traditional as an English thing is that sausage very, roll. Very sausage roll. Is Especially very from Greg's. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Greg's anyway, <laughs> there you go. Let us know if you tried any. Let us know in the comments if you tried any of them uh, English comfort foods, as they call them. Yeah. There's plenty more that I would classify as comfort foods, like the shepherd's pie, things like that. Sausage and mash. That. Sausage and mash. Yeah, they're more comfort foods as well. But, uh, Liver and onions. Or no. a full English. <laughs> and a full English. Oh, I, I do love a full English, mm. yeah. but I have to take some things out, like the baked beans and the black pudding, black pudding, pudding and the tomatoes, mushrooms, mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms. So just sausage <laughs> on toast then. <laughs> just sausage, bacon, sausage, and egg. Sausage, bacon, toast, hash brown, <laughs> and egg. Yeah. And a massive bound cake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I'll take toast yeah. instead of the yeah. bound cake. Mm. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.